Hello guys and um, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about uh, calculating the area of a triangle. A simple method, the simple method which we all know, which is um, the use of the breadth and the, the base rather and the height to calculate the area of a triangle. So that's what we are going to be talking about now. In the advanced video, which is going to be dropping soon, we'll be talking about. Um, We'll be using conditionals, we'll be using a different uh, other methods like trigonometry, uh, methods of calculating the area of a triangle, using the side perimeter to calculate the area of a triangle. So let's get started. The simple method using um, the base and the height. Calculate the area of a triangle. That's a comment. That's why it starts with an exclamation mark. So let's begin the program. Begin the program by writing program area triangle. Let's just name it like that. And end the program area area triangle. Okay, so the next step is introducing our implicit non. Implicit non. Um, implicit non. I have explained implicit what implicit implicit non does in the form of video. We check the basic syntax of of um, of coding of Fortran of Fortran programming language in the previous video. I, I explained fully what implicit non is so you can check it out so let's continue we know for our area of triangle we're going to be talking about base and height let's go into our dream board enjoy what it looks like out here draw triangle This is the height. Pardon my <laughs> rough sketch. And this is the base. This is the base. Let's assume our base is equal to four centimeters. No, and our height is equal to three, three centimeters. Now, no more. Um, Calculation for solving area of a triangle is area is equal to area is equal to F B H where B is the base and H is the height. So I guess we all know that. So let's Take this illustration into code. We know from um, what do you call it? We know from our diagram that the two um, variables are integers. So introducing integers. Sorry. Declaring variable integers. Let's say b and h and real introducing our area in case we get let's assume let's assume our base is 
let's say six and our okay let's assume our base is seven and our height is seven we cannot like divide that by two it will return a float so or a real number two so we are assigning real to real, um, to area now continue see print mm -hmm. hello okay this program is run the base for letting the um, user know that okay this program is to run the area we try and go is to calculate rather calculate the area we triangle using the base and height method so say print um, input Input your base value, and we'll read it because that's where someone, that's where the person will, would um, drop the base value. Then also say input your height value. Read H, which is the height. Then we'll say area is a question. Half is zero point five. Zero point five multiplied by B times H. Say print. Yeah, so let's run this and see what comes up. See this first. Okay. As you can see from down here, saying the program is calculated the area of using the beta and when it's asking me to input my base value. Okay, what's our base value from the illustration? Our base value was 4. The height value was the area of a triangle is six thank you so that's um let's run through the code again the first line the first line was um a comment which said calculate the area of a triangle i started the program using our program name area trig then implicit known then we find our variables which uh, which b which are b h and area b and h are integers and area is a real number and we said print this program is calculate the area of a triangle yes i'm just going to understand that so now it's going to display it's going to display basically what it's doing there is displaying what is in that uh, what 
is in between the quotation marks which is this program is calculate the next line is print um, input your base value so it's displaying input your base value and asking the person to input is asking the person to input a a a base value here then the person inputs the base value then it reads the base value which is b then it also has that print your height value and the person inputted um, read uh, the person inputted the height value then it read the height value then we define the function here function for area which is uh, half times base times height which is the area of a triangle then we said then we said display the area of a triangle is the calculated value of area which is this area so print thank you let's run it again with different variable okay there's an error okay where is the error i think there's an error let's run this again okay input your base value let's say our base value is six now and our height is let's say nine here of a triangle is 27 thank you that's it so if you have any questions or comments about this um this um, block of code just let me know in the comment section below